All right, guys, today we're gonna remove the valve body from a 6L90. Uh, I'm gonna go over a few things before we get started. Number one, the transmission needs to preferably be cooled down, at least uh, warm instead of being operating temperature because we're gonna drain the fluid, remove the pan, and the fluid could burn you. So that's something to think about. Also, before you start removing anything else, some of the O2 sensors or uh, sensors for an air fuel gauge may be in the way. Uh, this one was, um, so I just unplugged it and tucked it out of the way here. Uh, these other ones um, are actually okay. Um, it's not a big deal. So first step, we've already drained the fluid from this particular transmission just for safety reasons. We don't want to burn our cameraman, so camera lady. <laughs> so first step, you want to break this uh, 14 millimeter uh, drain plug loose. And again, preferably the engine be cooled down. And drain um, and it'll drain for a minute or two and it'll it, when it stops you want to put it back in and just give it a little it has an o-ring on the on the drain plug so it don't have to be that tight so once that's removed you get the fluid out you can see I've already moved quite a few uh, bolts um, but again this transmission is already drained so uh, remove these first these rear ones and make your way around front and the transmission pan will actually still have some left in it once you've drained it. So you'll uh, remove these and as you go around, as you go around the transmission, uh, the, uh, the pan will start to seep the rest of the fluid out. And uh, you can see we have our catch can underneath. Um, so keep going and if you keep the camera right here, you'll see the pan drop as I get to the rear few. See it drop? And that's what you want. At this point, you probably stop and let it finish draining some more. Um, and then as you take more out, it'll keep dropping slowly. And you get to the last few. And this is when you're gonna kinda wanna support it again. Remove the last bolt. These are 10 millimeter bolts all the way around. Take it down slowly. And there will be fluid in the pan still, so you want to dump that out. So we'll set the pan aside now. So this is valve body here. This one's already been sent out to getaway cars. Um, so we got some modifications. You can see your stock one won't have any of this stuff going on. But next thing, remove the filter. Now, the filter, is also going to pour out more fluid, um, so just be ready for that. Get your your catch can or, or, or pan or however underneath there, and so you're going to kind of pull down and give it a little wiggle, and it comes out like so. And this one is is new, but it would you would turn it over and then drain and make sure that you don't splatter everywhere or get it in your face or anything. So we'll take that out of the way. All right. So next step, you have your TCM connector. Um, and then this is the internal um, connector that separates the valve body from the pass-through connector. So you'll push this little tab here. You can see you push it in and then pull down. And it drops about a half an inch or so and then it's disconnected. Um, so that's done. The next step will be to remove the uh, spring for the actual transmission linkage. That's going to be an 8 millimeter. Switch our socket and remove that. And it does have a little catch here in the valve body. You can see. Alright, so next thing to explain. There are six bolts holding the valve body in. Um, and there is a special socket that's required. But the six bolts are here, 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 and here. And uh, you can tell they're all different. Some are ten, some are eights in the valve bodies, but these are actually a little different. That socket is a snap-on socket part number 10EPL. If you can see that, it's a Torx Plus snap-on socket. All right, 
So we'll start removing those. I like to undo it. top two, back two. So we'll start holding up on it. The vibe bite does have some weight to it, so you'll want to be careful with that. So those are removed. Now, the valve body is partially locked into the pass-through connector, so we're gonna wanna pull it down and give her a little wiggle. And it does have dowels, but you wanna lean the front forward and pull towards the, the front of the bell housing to get it to come down. Um, and there's some dowels too, so it may be a little, a little tough to wiggle, but again, just give her a little wiggle and then that's it. So. One thing to be careful about is this connector here. So linkage, you don't want to break that off. So typically I'll go ahead and lock it back in so that it's safe. So from there, we'll come over here and getaway cars. Obviously you're shipping it to them. So you're gonna wanna package it up. This is a cylinder head bag. Um, you can use a quality trash bag. Um, any, any number of uh, bags really as long as it's sealed it doesn't leak everywhere so then again be careful with your uh, linkage here you can kind of give that a little push in keeps it more stable so insert it in all right and what you want to do at this point is seal it in some way whether it be wire tie zip tie tape tied in a knot, however, and then you want to place it into a, a slightly larger box, nothing real tight because you're going to want to put a lot of um, cushion insulation, peanuts, um, newspaper, any of that kind of stuff to ship it to getaway cars. So that's about it. Um, that's the uh, removal. We're going to do another video on uh, insulation, so look out for that.